Good morning, folks. Starting at spaceweathernews.com, we find a calm last 24 hours on the Earth-facing disk. Still got some plasma filaments we're concerned about there. But watch at the end. SDO is missing a chunk of data where it skips from overnight, but no worries. The GOES SXI, Gong H Alpha, and the Proba 2 all had uninterrupted coverage. No big eruptions during that time. The real story up there, however, is about the sun diving comet heading in now. This follows two from two days ago, and we'll have eyes open today for induced solar eruptions. Thus far, the eruptions have been lessened. Solar flaring succumbing to the Earth-facing solar quiet effect thus far, with sunspots appearing as three massive umbras days ago, with surrounding minstrels, but civil war broke out in the two trailing umbras, and they are now shadows of their former glory. Fractured penumbral structure with only a hint of delta-class magnetism remaining up there at the northern parts. Remember yesterday? Steady solar wind kept the above average intensity from producing geomagnetic storms, but a hitch broke that stability yesterday afternoon and immediately a geomagnetic storm was produced. While KP says level 1, the K index says it was a level 2, and the Q hit 7, which is a level 3 disruption. Solar plasma penetrated our shield and directly struck the ionosphere and atmosphere in the wake of that disruption. Folks, his death stayed secret for the better part of a month, but Maurice Strong has indeed departed. I lament anything but honored remembrance for people, normally, but I cannot bring myself to feel it here. Veteran watchers know why, but for the rest, we will have a deeper look episode on exactly why this man mattered. Goodbye, Maurice Strong. More deaths from tornadoes in the United States, and it's not over yet. The eastern edge of the convergence has been punishing Americans for days here. Nothing is going to change this evening as the convergence remains and the one-two punch waits another day to bring the snow to the east. You can see why there is that insane temperature gradient in the U.S. right now when you just look at the wind. All eyes open along that area tonight. Lives are at risk. One month to observing the frontier. Top scientists and professors. The topics we all love. The mobile observatory project and the unique family feel of an observer's gathering. Phoenix, Arizona is about the best place in the world to be at the end of January. We really hope to see you out there. We've got pressure and radar elucidating a similar temperature swing across the pond. Flood threats aren't finished yet there, guys. We've also got a special look at monsoon rainfall building down under. With shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.